Okay, so the other day I opened an entire case of the brand new Rarity collection, but that wasn't enough. So today I'm going to be opening up another booster box because I think this set is one of the best sets of all time and I'm addicted to opening this set up. There's so many good cards. You can pull so many QCRs, ultimate rares, CRs, all that good stuff, all in just one single box. Like it's so good and I honestly can't get enough of this box. If you guys wanted to see the full case opening, I did a live stream. You guys can check out the channel and check out the entire case opening that we did there. But for now, let's get into this booster box. All right, so here the booster box is in all of its glory. The best set, in my opinion, that Yu-Gi-Oh! has ever released or Konami has ever released. This set is absolutely insane. There are so many bangers, and I just want to show you guys some of the QCRs that we pulled in our case, okay? These are the kinds of cards you can expect to pull when you open up a booster box of the Rarity Collection. Now, of course, this is almost an entire case worth of QCRs, so... I don't want you guys to expect to pull all these QCRs in a single box. That's not going to happen unless you get like a misprint box, which would actually honestly be insane. But uh, in this box, you can probably expect to pull probably I would say three QCRs is the regular ratio. So, you know, out of the three QCRs, you have some of the staples. Oh, we opened it up, guys. We opened it up. I don't want to take super long in this video. I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of Rarity Collection booster box openings already. But I do want to slow down and show you guys some of the cool rarities that this set has released, right? We have the ultimate rare or the platinum ultimate rare is what they call it the platinum collector's rare and then you have the platinum secret rare or the extra secret rare some people call it and uh, that rarity is actually pretty cool as well so let's get right into our first booster pack over here oh bro i always get so excited opening up this set i think this set is extremely fun to open up and you really like oh my like guys there's literally a qcr in our very first pack there's literally a qcr in our very first pack that's 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 what you can expect to see when you open up a rarity collection okay i put it in the back so we got a dimension shifter elvish the golden lord inspector border super rare revolt super rare what is our qcr we got a small world qcr that's absolutely insane in our very first booster pack over here small world qcr you love seeing qcrs like this one all the staples those are the best qcrs to pull so stuff like this uh, any of the pot cards any of the extra deck staples baron savage dragon that's absolutely insane starting things off with a qcr small world now again you're supposed to get three in a box so i am expecting at least two more here is our secret rare veiler which is really nice we got a striker dragon a mech knight eight crusader avermax and a shadal schism okay so that was just your average booster pack nothing too crazy in there actually i kind of want to break down kind of what the set looks like for anyone who doesn't know at this point so in each pack you get a two super rares, two ultra rares, and a secret rare. But there are chances for the ultra rares and the secret rares to get upgraded, right? So in the last pack or in the first pack, the secret rare got upgraded to the QCR. In this one, we just have a regular secret rare. The secret rare could be either a QCR or the platinum secret rare. And then this is what we're talking about. The ultra rares can be upgraded to either a collector's rare like this one. So Alpha the Master of Beast collector's rare or an ultimate rare. Now, these are the brand new collector's rare rarity that uh, Konami has released you guys can see that it's same like as a typical collector's rare with the little shatter foil but you guys can see these dots over here kind of like the dual terminal over there but collector's rare alpha is absolutely insane now keep in mind you can pull more than one hit in a in a pack so you can technically pull and a collector's rare and an ultimate rare right in, in a single pack which is absolutely insane you can pull a qcr and an ultimate rare in the same pack right because each ratios are different so i'll give you an example here we're gonna pull a regular secret rare and then okay actually maybe maybe not yet but maybe in one of these boxes uh we'll, we'll pull one of those so i can show you guys what it's kind of what it's kind of like now if you guys didn't check out my live stream where i opened up a full case i actually did a ton of experiments with this set i checked out if this set was weighable guys luckily enough oh there it is so there actually before i get into that here is our uh platinum secret rare so platinum secret rare is essentially just like a regular secret rare i'll pull out another secret rare for you guys to kind of compare it with so you guys can kind of get the idea but you have the regular secret rare but you guys can see on the name here it's kind of different so it has like that like uh, shatter foil rather than the typical secret rare naming and then on the borders you guys can see the actual borders of the card text as well as the artwork are all uh, foiled so that is your platinum secret rare i think is what they're calling it officially or you guys can call it extra secret rare honestly extra secret rare made a lot more sense to me but here oh droplet as an ultra rare that is a good that's a really good pack right there but here for example you could have got that upgraded as a uh, platinum secret rare but then you also could have gotten like an ultimate rare or the cr in behind it which would have been insane but um 
back to what I was saying, we did a lot of experiments and one of them included was these packs weighable because there's so many different rarities in this pack. And uh, the answer, luckily enough, if you guys, you know, obviously want to check out the live stream, actually check out how we did it. You guys can see that. But the answer is it's not weighable. And the reason I wanted to do that test is because there's so many different rarities. I thought maybe people would be opening boxes, scaling them and then selling off packs with nothing in it. But luckily it doesn't look like this pack or this set is weighable, which is really, really good because then you don't have to worry as much about getting I don't want to say the word scammed, but let's be honest, getting scammed and uh, getting ripped off, essentially people selling you loose packs uh, when they know nothing's going to be inside. Super rare droplet is absolutely insane. The fact that we're seeing this card in a super rare is, is crazy. We have a Code Talker Inverted, Dark Law. Uh, we got an Artemis as well as a Nibiru super rare. That is another super rare that we want to see. For me, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. And this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. But in my opinion, I personally like either lowest rarity of cards or highest rarity of cards. So I really want to pull, oh, extra secret rare imperm. That's insane. That's a really pretty card over here. So like I was saying before, we pulled that beauty right over there. Um, oh, and a CR. There we go. You see how we pulled an extra secret rare and a CR Herald of the Arc line and a super rare even match. Guys, this is a single booster pack. Super evenly matched, CR Herald of the Arclight, and a Prismatic, or a Platinum, I should say, Platinum Secret Rare Infinite Impermanence. This is a single booster pack, guys. That's absolutely nuts. This this set is actually the best set I've ever opened in my life. And this is the best set I think Konami's ever released, ever. Literally ever. Okay, I'm going to put these over here. But like I was saying, um, yeah, for me personally, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. But for me personally, I like either lowest rarity. So in this case, Ash is lowest rarity. So I'm going to stock up on super ashes, but ultra rare Ash and all that kind of stuff for me are cards that I would personally move just because for me, it's either I get the super rare, the lowest rarity or the highest rarity. So in this case, it's going to be QCR and boy, QCR Ash is I think the most expensive card in the set. And that card is nuts. Like if we can pull that today, that would be insane, right? I wouldn't even mind pulling like another Pot of Prosperity. I pulled one earlier. So Pot of Prosperity would be nice. Lightning Storm would be nice. All of these staples that you need more than one of, if I pulled another one, I wouldn't be too upset. Small World is another example. Now we pulled the Small World. Probably not going to pull another Small World. I feel like I keep getting off track. Point is, I either for me personally want the QCRs or just the regular Super Rares, right? So, ooh, we have our first Ultimate Rare over here. So Ultimate Rare Veiler. So this is what they call a Platinum Ultimate Rare. So it's not like your typical ultimate rare you guys can see i don't want to compare it to the gold foiling it's kind of like gold without the gold i don't want to compare it there but you guys can see it's, it's very much different than your typical ultimate rare and uh here is the comparison between our herald and our veiler oh my god i just noticed the herald has a little nick right there that sucks but anyways here's the difference between a cr a platinum cr and a platinum ultimate rare right so you guys can clearly on camera i think feel, i feel like you guys can see the difference all the shadow foiling on the cr gives it away and then the veiler of course right there I feel like the ultimate rares, that was our first side, by the way. So our right side of the box, we just finished and we have two CRs, a QCR and an ultimate. Rare. That's that's insane. Oh, and we have the two uh, uh, prismatic secret rares or the platinum secret rares, which is nuts. So on this side, I expect two QCRs and one of these because I think the ratios are three, three, three. Th I think they're all three. I think you actually are supposed to just pull three of everything. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways. My point is that, ooh, a Platinum Secret Rare, Blue Eyes, Abyss, Dragon. Like, I mean, for the Blue Eyes players, this is cool. Obviously not one of the better pulls. I, I really like the Imperm. I think the Imperm was the best pull so far. But, I mean, still a pretty card. I think the rarity is absolutely insane as well. We got a Call by the Grave. Ooh, I think they're, oh, that is, yeah. I was, I was thinking that was an Ultra for a second, but it's not an Ultra. This is actually an Ultimate Rare, Red Eyes, Flare, Metal, Dragon. Beautiful card. I actually really like this. I really like this. That's a really cool card. Okay, so let's get right into it. That's our first pack of the other side. But yeah. I'm just, guys, I'm honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I lost track of what I've been saying this entire time. Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster, and I just dropped cards on the floor. Egyptian God Slime, Harpy's Feather Storm, and uh, Fairy Dragon. Let me pick up the cards. All right, we're back after the intermission. Let's get right into our next pack. But um, yeah, there's just so many good cards in this set. I feel like I'm going even too far. Like Lava Golem, super rare. Just just a Lava Golem right there. Ooh, and a CR Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Guys, we'll take as many CRs and ultimate rares as we can get. I'm never going to say no to any rarity upgrades. I mean, we pulled three CRs there. I think that's what we're supposed to be getting. But uh, we get more. I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say no to more of these. Okay, we got an Entis. Got a Called by the Grave, secret rare. A Veiler, oh, for a second I thought that was an ulti, but it's not. I was like, did we just pull two ulti Veilers in the same box? That'd be insane. Got our next pack here though. Okay, so again, some of the chase cards. Baron, Baron, literally I was just talking about. I was just going to say some of the chase cards are Baron. I don't think we've seen a Baron yet. This is our very first one and it's a super rare. Which, ooh, okay, I like it. QCR 
Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. Again, this is kind of like one of those cards that's a staple. You really always want to have one on you because there's a lot of decks that can randomly play this. And pulling these one ofs are really cool because I know I won't have to go out of my way now to go buy some of these in like play sets and whatnot. And uh, yeah, this is an absolutely stunning card. I am not mad with the two QCR we've, QCRs we've pulled so far. Like I think these have been two very good QCRs. Now that I'm looking at it though, I'm going to start putting these uh, away. But now that I'm looking at it though, have we seen a Pot of Prosperity yet? Super Rare, Ultra Rare, or or anything else i don't think so prosperity is one of those uh higher end cards as well in the set um I, I know it's one of those cards that's uh pretty sought after of course a lot of people another baron um and then uh yeah so pot of prosperity of course is a three of in pretty much any deck that you're playing it so for that reason ooh, ash blossom ultra rare that's pretty nice and we got a luna yeah so prosperity is one of those cards i know extravagance desires are in here lots of lots of really good cards lots of insane cards okay we have a galaxy eyes afterglow okay compulse I really don't want to ruin it. Like I want our QCR, our last QCR for the box to be insane, but I also don't want to just like pull out the card and then see the name and then ruin it. You know what I mean? Like, is there a QCR here? No, there's no QCR here. So we're safe. We got a Lone Fire. Sphere Mode is a secret rare, absolutely stunning card. Mischief, Ghost Trick Angel, Lava Golem, and Iris Sword Soul. Okay. You guys can see though, pretty much every pack has a hit. Every pack has something you want, right? If, if we're not talking monetary value only, we're, oh! Oh, QCR Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. You know what? I am not mad with this one as our third QCR. That is a really pretty QCR over here. I personally have ultimate rares, but I think the QCR is absolutely stunning as well. So this card is absolutely insane. Beautiful as our third QCR. I cannot complain. I mean, if we pull a fourth, listen, we have a shot to pull a fourth, right? If we pull a fourth QCR, we have a Baron Ultra Rare. A fourth QCR would be nuts. I think all we're technically due for, though, is a third ulti, technically, if we're talking about ratios. But, bro, forget the ratios. We got two more packs. We got three more packs to go after this one. Let's see if we can hit something crazy here. Savage Dragon. And we have an Effect Veiler CR. Bro, we pulled an ulti Effect Veiler, and now we pulled a Collector's Rare Effect Veiler. Both in the same box is absolutely insane. I think Effect Veiler is one of those really, really nice cards in high rarity. And the fact that we pulled another CR is crazy. Uh, I guess I guess technically these have the same ratio, so it's not necessarily you have to pull 3 and 3. Maybe you pull 4 and 2. I think it's 6 total is the actual ratios, right? So it could be either or. But uh, you know what? Let's take more. Let's, I'm, I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Let's get more. Dingirsu Secret Rare. Luna. We have another Dingirsu Ultra, Ultra Rare. That, like, that's what packs look like. Okay, guys, we're moving into our last pack. I know I've been talking a lot. Uh, I, I Hopefully, I haven't bored you guys with all my jibber-jabber and, and, and just talking about random things and all my side chat. But let's get into our last pack here. Listen, it's very unlikely that there is going to be a QCR, but I think these are two are going to be the Super Rares, these are the Ultra Rares, and that is the Secret Rare, all right? Maybe, maybe we pull a fourth QCR. Probably not going to happen, but let's get it. We got Alpha, the Master of Beasts, called by the grave. Have we not pulled a Prosperity yet? I'm just taking that in an entire box, not a single Prosperity. We have a Dark Wall Ultimate Rare, okay. Yes, sir, we'll take it. Guys, I got greedy and we actually hit the Dark Wall Ultimate Rare. This is a card that I really want in QCR as well. We have an evenly matched ultra rare. Okay, absolutely insane. And our last card, our final card of this insane opening. Guys, just look at this. This is a single booster box, all right? Our last card is Imperm Secret Rare. You know what? I am not going to be mad about an impermanent secret rare. This card is absolutely stunning as well. You guys can see, like, forget just these hits. Now, these hits were absolutely insane, of course. There's no argument uh, argument there. Like, these hits were absolutely crazy. But you guys can see, like, we have Baron, so many different staples in here. We have Ash, Compulse, Nadir Servant, uh, I, Bro, Veiler. Like, look at all of these cards. This is just what the set looks like. Oh my god, we missed. Did, did anyone else see that? Did I miss that? Flashback. And then the Veiler, of course, right there. End of flashback. That's an ultimate rare striker dragon. I completely missed that. Yo, what? So we got four ultis. Yo, did I miss anything else? Wait, what? We got super rare ash. Yo, hold up, hold up. Droplets. I still don't see a prosperity. I don't think we hit a prosperity. Yeah, we didn't hit a prosperity this whole box. Wow, that's kind of crazy. But, but, but we missed the Striker Dragon. Guys, we got four ultis, four CRs, three QCRs, and three extra secret rares. This, in my opinion, is an insane box over here. Like, you cannot complain. You cannot complain. I, I am so happy with this.
Now, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video. This set is absolutely insane. And if you guys want me to open up more of this set, honestly, I'm not a kind of guy who opens up too many packs, but I think this set is so broken that I might have to do it. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit 15,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. I think we can make it happen because I believe in the Spangle Squad. Thank you guys all for watching. Guys, I have to go sort this. This stuff is insane. I appreciate every single one of you with that. Spanko signing off. Peace.